What up everybody, it's your boy, this my sneaker head in the house coming with a brand new video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Appreciate all the support. My camera's battery is pretty low, so I'm gonna try to zoom through this, but we are at episode nine, folks, of Last Seven Kicks. Um, trust me, there will be more videos coming. It's just been a real crazy couple of weeks, and I haven't picked up anything, but I do have a bunch of videos dropping this week. So thanks for everybody being patient. Monday, I'm sorry, Sunday, I didn't really wear anything too crazy. I just wore a pair of beaters. I have these Nike Dunks here. They're not SBs. They're just regular Dunks. This is all 3M. I actually got these for 25 bucks at uh, the Nike outlet. Jeez. Three, four years ago. But yeah, these are my beady, beater pairs. They still look pretty good considering I wear them for everything. But yeah, I just wore these around that day on Sunday. Monday, your boy busted out these bad boys right here. The Saucony Grid 5000s. I'm sorry, Shadow 5000s. This was the collaboration with Extra Butter and Saucony. This, I believe, with the Moon Landing um, colorway. So the bottom has a translucent sole, which is pretty yellow, but it wasn't pure translucent when I bought it. And it has a moon uh, image on there. Super dope. Um, there was a lot of lunar and moon based kits nowadays, but uh, these are hella dope. There's some hits of 3M, but the shoe itself is made primarily a mesh and like a nylon material, nothing crazy, but I wear these a lot and this is what I wore on Monday. Tuesday, your boy busted out a pair of kicks that I've had for a while. Again, I got these for maybe 80 bucks a couple years back and these are the Air Zone 96 is what, I, is what they call them. Now, I love these kicks right here. Uh, a lot of, ba this was a basketball version, but the very first one I had when I was actually a junior um, or sophomore in high school was the, the gray gradation pair. And that was the one that was worn by Barry Sanders. I'll leave a pick here. This is the basketball pair, which was worn by like Jason Kidd, Penny Hardaway. Um, so it's really super dope colorway here. Wednesday, I had to bust these out. We have the Nike Air Max 95s in the traditional neon line colorway, the OG. As everybody knows, this is a grail of mine. Even though Air Max 95s are not my favorite Nike runner, this was one of the first Nikes that I absolutely fell in love with. Like One of my earliest videos was a grail talk explaining my top three grails um, early, early on when I started my sneaker channel. I'll leave that video up here if you want to check it out. This is the 2015 pair, the one that came out last year and it sat. One, because the price tag was crazy, but fortunately my homeboy who worked at Foot Locker hooked me up, so I got these for a buck thirty. Thursday, I had to bust these out. It's been a while since I worn them. We have the Air Tech Challenge 2. This is the France colorway, the, the French open colorway. Um, this was hella dope. I know in this first drop, a lot of people were calling them the New York Yankees because of the stripes. Um, but no, these were the French open. As you can see, it has the colors of France here. It has uh, blue, white, and red in the air. Super dope. It's a, the quality was sick on these. Inner lining is leather. Uh, the inner of the shoe, you have the stripes there again. Friday, phone Fridays, you know your boy had to come with the phones and I decided to bust out the Air Foam Posit ones right here. This one was the House of Hoop exclusive that came out years back. Now they're not, these aren't like gray, like uh, these aren't limited in terms of uh, Foam Fridays, you know I had to bust out another pair of phones and we have the Air Foam Posit one House of Hoops. This colorway was a House of Hoops exclusive. I can't remember the year, so I won't even try to say it, but if I do remember, I'll put it up here or something so you can see it, but super dope. You can't go wrong with all black, and some of the cleanest foams are just the all black with one other color, like the cough drops, the cactuses, but these are hella flames to me. They have that green, like Slimer type ooze to it. They're not glow in the dark or anything, but these are super, super dope. And let's move on to Saturday. Saturday, I wore the KD9 Low Elites. Uh, this was a Nike ID I made. This is the Cape Crusader colorway that I came up with. 
super super dope i decided instead of doing everybody knows i'm a big batman fan and instead of me doing like an all black shoe or a dark knight theme i decided to do more of the traditional older generation batman where you had the yellow batman logo and this gray and blue on this pair you see crusader the other pair has cape so it's cape crusader the bottoms are glow in the dark but that's it folks thanks for tuning in again for another episode of last seven kicks and this week there will be more videos besides just last seven kicks i promise you so stay tuned for that and with that being said it's your boy the smart sneaker head and a brother is out peace Here's a